Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Amanda and I love crafting, shopping, decor and makeovers. Thanks for tuning in. Hooray, we've made it through the DIY dollhouse kit series. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, today I will be completing the bedroom and then lighting it up to show all the rooms with their lovely little lamps. So I'm just making some slippers here. Um, again, super cute pattern and just um, cut everything out, stick them onto the um, felt and then um, use the templates on the material and then cut some strips, wrap them around. Uh, it's a little fiddly process, but when it's all finished, um, the outcome does look like a pair of slippers. So it was definitely worth it. Another lovely uh, light for the dollhouse. So this is a um, standing corner lamp. So lampshade using the clear film and then wrapping the material around it. A uh, little tiny stick to secure it and then it also helps you to glue it on. Unfortunately, I did have a finger gluing incident. Um, I was squeezing the uh, super glue and um, obviously it glued the lid shut, but then it all came out the side. So it <laughs> so ran down all down my hands. That was a bit unfortunate. Um, but I have since bought some new super glue that is in a different kind of container, which I think will be safer for future projects. So the lamp just fits together, um, same with the other ones, just glue all the bits of wood together, thread the light down and you've got yourself a lovely corner lamp, so very pleased with that. Another flat pack piece here, the uh, bedroom um, side cabinet, so two cute little drawers um, that just glue together and um, then the top and the bottom and the sides um, there isn't a back or a bottom on and that's other, another idea for me because sometimes when I make pieces I make too many parts to them and if it's going to be glued to the wall you don't really need to make a back piece. I think in my previous dollhouse I made the mistake of having furniture that could be taken in and out um, whereas this dollhouse is everything's glued down um, which does make it more secure. I know then it does make it hard to change things but to be honest you can pull things out so I'm definitely going to be doing a bit more gluing in my future dollhouses because it just makes things a lot easier, less things to fall over. <laughs> So more cute attention to detail items for the top of the um, bedside table. There's a lovely little um, picture frame, um, a, a, a vase of flowers and a book and a little tiny bird to go on top. So it's a lovely bedside table. Again, um, I have done uh, books on my bedside table and cups and glasses and things, but I think a little vase of flowers and a little ornament is a nice idea. So that's definitely inspiring me for my um, next dollhouse project. big item for the bedroom is of course the bed so it's another little flat pack affair um, again it's uh, pieces so there's a, a headboard which is a nice idea a piece of wood uh, wrap the felt around it and then just gluing the leather pieces on the sides and bending them round and then putting a larger leather piece over the top so that's a really nice idea and I think um, I might do that because I haven't, I haven't actually got a headboard for my bed in my new dollhouse so I may make a headboard and it, it looks um, fairly simple but nice and effective so I might give that a try and then the bed um, again a bit similar to the, the chair and the settee there's lots of material pieces to go it's not quite as fiddly 
because they're slightly larger pieces. So put the felt on the base and then glue the headboard on and then that will um, lock the bed into place. And then there's um, a lovely piece of sort of um, meshy material to go on and that will give the bed its shape. So just glue that down and then to give the bed a bit of um, uh, shape, a little bit of the stuffing and then the bed sheet glued on top of that. So then it all fits together and the stuffing's inside and it makes it look like a bed with a duvet. And then just a finishing touch there of a lovely piece of lace. And I think that bed um, looks beautiful. And then, of course, some pillows, really simple to make, a rectangle of material, glue um, two of the sides together, leaving one side open, stuff in your fluff um, or whatever you've got, really, that's, uh, that could go inside to make it fluffy. And then glue the final side and you've got your lovely pillows. So what a beautiful bed, very pleased with that. To do my uh, home wiring, as you can see, uh, there's a lot of wires. Um, all the lights um, had holes, and I just had to pull them all through. And then um, one uh, uh, side was grey, one side was white. Um, once I figured that out, so I hadn't noticed they were two different colours. Um, I just pulled them into a bunch of grey and a bunch of white, and then attached them all to the. Um, battery box, twisted it all round and then sort of um, uh, used a bit of tape to sort of tape it in place and I think um, the end result is delightful. So you can just turn the back on and you have light and I think the dollhouse looks fabulous. I'm so pleased with it. Um, as I've said several times in these videos, I was very up and down as to whether I wanted to do a dollhouse kit um, because they're very small and fiddly. Um, but I have absolutely loved doing it. Um, it's so beautiful. Every, there's lots of attention to detail. It's very simple and streamlined. And that's also helping me think about my next dollhouse project. So I'm really glad I've done it because it's given me a lot of inspiration. I will be taking ideas from this and putting it into my new dollhouse. I've already started making changes in my dollhouse bathroom. Um, based on, on this bathroom. And I'm also starting to think about changes I could make to the bedroom. Um, it's sort of got to get to the balance of making smaller things, because um, obviously the dollhouse I've got now is smaller than the first one I had. Um, not as small as this, so I've got to go midway between this and the old one. Um, but also having that attention to detail, lots of lovely little things, but perhaps not too much you know like keep it nice and simple like if you look in the bedroom you know it's got the bed it's got a side table it's got a lovely lamp it's got slippers it's got the stuff by the bed but it hasn't got loads of extra things um you know it hasn't got two side tables um hasn't got a wardrobe um although i think i probably will be able to fit a wardrobe into my bedroom so i'm definitely taking inspiration from it um, I think it looks lovely and what I also quite like about it 
is with all the lights in it, I might be able to use it in the bedroom as a bit of a night light, you know, at night time. Um, I've got my scented candle wax melt that I turn on for a night light, but I think the dollhouse might also become a little bit of a night light. So, um, as well as being a really fun project, it actually makes a nice sort of decor piece now that I can use, or I can keep it in the office as a little extra light as well. So, really pleased with that. I hope you've enjoyed watching it. I have been um, putting little shorts on for people that enjoy watching the shorts on YouTube, because um, I know like some people don't like to watch like a whole video, although I am very thankful to people that do. Um, but I have been putting little shorts on, so if there is one little thing that you want to you know, see in detail, then you can see it on the shorts, because I've pretty much tried to take every little thing I've made and turn it into a short. So thank you very much uh, for watching this series and please do stick with me as I um, move into my new chapter in my new dollhouse. I will be doing a series on that. Um, as always, I will be shopping and crafting as well and de decorating in my own house. And I have been in the garden quite a bit recently. So I will hopefully keep you interested with all the things that I'm getting up to. So, as always, thank you very much for watching. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, please consider doing so. Uh, give me a like, drop me a comment, because I do love to hear from you. So, until next week, um, take care. Bye-bye.